Uh, one day last week, my wife said to me, when you go to the grocery store, I want you to buy a pumpkin. I said, what do you need a pumpkin for? She said, I'm going to make a dinner in a pumpkin. I said, you're going to do what? And she said, you just, you know, you carve out the guts and you, you put stuff in there and it's a dinner in a pumpkin. Okay, so I go to the grocery store and I look, there's no pumpkin. So I went home empty-handed, concerning pumpkins anyway. So, fine, you know, okay, we're just not going to have dinner in a pumpkin. So, <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that, but the kids are in the next room over. So, uh, I go to Dollar General just across the neighborhood. Cut. Hey, I'm making a film, so don't make no beep beep noises. Uncut. Anyway, as I'm pulling out of the drive, across the street is our hardware store here in town, the Ace Hardware, and I see an open top dumpster. Who? Garbage picking? Time to go dumpster diving. So I went over there, and it's a small one, it's about armpit high. So I'm looking around in there, and uh, hey, there's a football. It looks like it's brand new. It's not in the packaging, so I grabbed it. And I look down in there, and there's a pumpkin. So I pulled out the pumpkin, and I said, hey, she's going to make dinner and pumpkin now. And I looked, there's another one. So I grabbed it. And I chucked it in the car, and I went home and presented my dump to dive pumpkin. And she made dinner and pumpkin, and it was good. If you never had dinner and a pumpkin, just Google it. You'll find recipes. So I went back later that night to talk to the guy back in the parts department to get a part for a Husqvarna saw, what I'm working on. I thought, you know what? I'm going to go check that dumpster one more time. And I missed a bunch of stuff. There, there was a... Uh, I've never heard of it. I, what's it called? Let me. I have to look on here. Um, it's a, a ridge wallet, I think, is what they call it. Uh, well, that's weird. There should be an email right there. Oh, I gave them this other one in case they started sending me junk. <laughs> Yeah, I never look at this one. Yep, the Ridge Wallet. Well, inside this box, well, the wallet was gone, but there was uh, a couple of things in there, and there was a gift card for 10 bucks. So I thought, well, maybe it's still good. So I went to ridge.com or whatever it's called, and uh, it said that you'll get $10 off at checkout. So I went to see how much a wallet was. Hurt. Hundreds. So I said, forget that. Hey, there's a knife. No, well over a hundred. What can I get? So I, I was looking at these beanies. And I don't call them beanies. I call them a knit hat. I, I just feel like I'm talking about a beanie baby, and, I, and I'm not. So I'm not used to calling them a beanie. You know, I'd rather be like the Canadians and call it a toque, but we don't say that down here, so I'm just going to call it a knit hat. Well, they had one on there for 20 bucks. So I plugged in the old gift card number, and it worked. So I got, I got this knit hat toque beanie. For ten dollars, three dollars shipping. I said, I can do that. I bought a knit hat at uh, Blaine's Farm and Fleet last winter, and I probably paid ten or fifteen dollars for it, and it don't fit good. I don't like it. So, anywho, that's what I uh, that's what I dumpster dove for. But that wasn't all. I got me a brand new bottle of cologne, and I was fresh out, and it smelled good. All the kids liked it. You know, it doesn't matter if my wife likes it, because she never likes that stuff. It gives her headaches anyway, so uh, I got that. 
I got some uh, headphones for the kids and they can plug in and listen to some music. And that works. Pretty nice set too. And then, you know what I found? You can tell by the grin that it's a good one. Worth a lot of dollars. Someone threw it away. I'm going to turn the camera around and I'm going to show you. Oh, I better turn the camera around. Would you, would you look at, let me get it in the light. Uh, I don't know if that's in the light. I can't see. Yes, it is. That there is a Canon 310XL Super 8 movie camera. Whoopsie daisy. I don't want to ruin that. And... Yes, sir. It works. The only thing I don't think works is the zoom buttons. Stop right there! It works. I found out that you have to be pulling the trigger whilst using those buttons. And it works. Because mm -hmm. yep. it isn't doing anything when I push on them, but I was watching a person on YouTube using one of these. He said he prefers using this anyway because if he needs to do a fast zoom, you can do that. Or a slow one, you can use that. And he said this one right here is rather slow. But it sure would help in the resale. I mean, people are getting three or four hundred dollars in give or take, depending on if they have film to go with it, which they still make film for these. Someone throwed it away. Even has the cap. It's got the original leather case. I'm telling you what. I can't wait to get that thing rolling on eBay. Now let me tell you about another deal. On eBay. Mm-hmm. Yep, my brother had a Marantz stereo sitting in his garage that someone gave him. I said, that's worth a lot of money. I've seen one sold for $1,000. So I've had it sitting here for a while. And someone put a some type of meter hanging off the side. I took the cover off and I clipped it out carefully. I just snipped the wires. Uh, they had it coming out of the vent, out of the side, but uh, I took that off. I just listed it this morning on eBay. And it's already over $300. Yes, sir. Let me show you. Would you look at that? Just look at it. $306 so far. I started out uh, blah, blah, with a $50 bid. And I knew these sold for a lot, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to just put $50 on their start. People, they cannot resist. And, uh, yep, sure enough, she's up to $306. I can't wait. I still got seven days. Um... The volume pot is scratchy, but those can be cleaned or replaced. Usually these people that, you know, collect this stuff either do the work themselves or they know people like Ma Slack and Ron C and Carl and Bob, y'all know Bob, you know, and some of these other fellers to do that kind of work for them. So, I sure will keep you posted on that. And you can look it up yourself. I just got a very easy, you know, title on there if you want to see what she sells for at the end of the week. Six days and 19 hours left. Oh, oh, oh. That doesn't do very good, does it? I want to see something cute. Would you look at that? Just look at it. <laughs> I love those kids. Okay, so I might as well show you this while I'm at it. Auction tonight. And uh, 
my big lot of chainsaws. Counting the leaf blower, I think there's 35 in all. So far is up to $151.05. So uh, can't wait to see. That, that, and it might not go any higher. But what's going on here? Oh, that's just a cover. You see, you see that right there? I sure could have used that because the Husqvarna that I'm working on, I have it on the bench, it has a, a good sized groove in the cylinder wall and uh, that may have had a good one. And then I'm working on a chainsaw for my cousin <clears throat> and the, the oiler, uh, there's a little wheel thing that it that spins it. Anyway, that's bad. And the guy down there is like, well, why don't you get one off all those saws? I said, because they're at the auction and I can't. So, yeah, I guess I maybe should have hung on to these for a little bit longer. But who, you know, I didn't know that I'd be working on a Husqvarna saw. All right. Well, anyway, I'll keep you posted on all this fun stuff. So... I, I was just going to make a quick video, and this turned out not to be quick. It's still short, but it's not quick. And uh, just to let you see a few things that I have here on eBay, this is my brother's 8-track uh, tapes he got from his, his grandmother on his mom's side. Got that Milwaukee job site radio that he... Uh, dug out of the dumpster already got one bit on that so far for 25 bucks here's a range hood now here's a all this Husqvarna stuff that I washed and got it on here and there's a he pulled that one out of the dumpster anyway I've sold a lot of this stuff so far fun fun we'll talk at you later